Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a new foundation for you guys. I'm very excited. It is from Too Faced. I love Too Faced. So this is the new one. So if you'd like to see this new foundation on my face and my kind of how I'm feeling about it, then just keep watching. love Too Faced. I have always loved Too Faced. Their original Too Faced Born This Way foundation is my all-time, all-time favorite foundation, like, ever. So I was really excited when I saw that another one was coming out. It is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 hour foundation. So this is saying a lot of stuff on here it is oil free, oil controlling, waterproof and transfer um, resistant. So this is a lot of stuff in here that is going to be good stuff if it's going to work as well as it's saying about it. Um, so we're going to start and we're going to put this right in our face. So I'm going to put in a primer and I'm going to use one from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX. Um, this is a really good one and I love the smell as well. So I'm just going to put this up here and I'm going to put it only on half of my face. So I'm going to put this on this side and I'm going to put it pretty much everywhere just because it's like a hydrating foundation or not foundation primer and I know this is definitely going to be a like a matte and like not hydrating for the foundation and I personally am a really dry person so I'm not sure how this is going to go with me so I'm going to put a hydrating primer on this side and then the other one I'm not going to put any primer so we're going to see how this is going to go. I'm gonna do it the exact same way on both sides. I'm just gonna use a beauty blender for it. So remember, this on this side is the one with the primer. This one is no primer. So having no pumps, I'm really excited. Come on. All right, and I'm also not sure if this is gonna be the right color for me. So eh, it seems like it's gonna be all right. So since I do have extremely dry skin, I'm not sure how this is gonna go with my face. <laughs> Um, but I think there's probably a lot of people that also have really dry skin, so it's gonna be interesting to see if this is gonna go well on, like, really dry skin. As of right now, I don't have any self-tan on it. I usually use, um, Loving Tan, um, but as of right now, I don't have any on, so I think this foundation color is pretty good for what I have right now. I do have to put it in my neck a little bit, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. So this is one coat. So I do have a lot of freckles on my face and you can see that you can see through all of it. I'm gonna zoom in. I wanted to kind of show you how the coverage is. So I put like two pumps and kind of put it everywhere. I do use a beauty blender for this. So it did suck a lot of the product, um, but you can see that it is not full coverage. It doesn't say that it's full coverage, um, but I can definitely see through all of my freckles. Um, but for me, like I want to be able to see my freckles. Um, I am going to put another coat in my face just so we can see um, if it's buildable. Buildable. So I'm going to put this over here and let's add another pump. All right, so here is another coat. It definitely covers more. So if you want like full, full coverage, I would say this probably is not for you. Um, I do feel like it is getting like tight. Um, so it's definitely not a hydrating foundation, which it does say that it is um, a matte foundation. So looking at it here, you can kind of see over here there's a little bit of glow, but I think that's just because it's not drying yet. Um, but I do like the finish. I am not sure if I'm liking how it's feeling on my skin. I can definitely feel that there is foundation on my face. And if I'm going to be having foundation on, I want it to feel like there's nothing there. Um, but it all depends on what you like. So I did have a primer on one side and the other did not have it. Feeling both they feel the same. So for me, it wouldn't have mattered if I put uh, primer or not. They feel the same to me. So 
Yeah. So since this is a oil-free, oil-controlling foundation, I would say if you are a dry faced person, I would say probably stay away from this. For my face and being already dry, I'm feeling extremely like, like I can feel it all going into my face. Like it's not, it's not that it's not comfortable. It's just like, I, it feels dry, drier than normal. So I personally probably won't be using this very often. Um, I would say if you have oily skin, I think this is going to go really good for you, I think. Um, just because if you're already oily, this is having it being matte is going to kind of control your oily, if that makes sense. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on just so I can see if it maybe changes once I put all the rest of my makeup on. So I'm going to put it all on my face and I'll be right back. All right, so I thought doing my foundation and like all that stuff would be fine. I wanna show you guys what's going on with my face. I'm not sure if it's the concealer that's doing this or it's the foundation. Um, so the concealer that I'm using is just a Makeup Forever Matte Skin um, Concealer. So I'm gonna zoom in and kinda show you what's going on. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this or not, um, but putting concealer on top of the foundation, it's now moving off or taking off the foundation. So I put my concealer up here and then, you know, doing it like the normal way. And it's literally taking off the foundation that I had here. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's maybe too dry with my skin or if it's just not, it's just like pulling it off. And I've, I've literally never had this issue before. So you can see it over here as well. And it goes all the way to here. And that's kind of where I stopped doing it because I just, I don't think that should be happening. So I'm just going to continue trying to do it. All right, so I have all of my makeup on and I'm going to tell you my thoughts. So as of right now, my face feels extremely dry. Um, I didn't spray anything on my face. I just wanted to see how is it going to be really like if I wasn't like spraying or anything. So it looks really good. I just feel it in my face. Also, some of the stuff on my face that is like really, really um, dry, you can see it. Um, so I'm going to zoom in and kind of show you on my lip here. Um, so you guys can really see what you're seeing up here. Um, but the foundation itself is really beautiful. Um, I think I did put some, some concealer and kind of set it and everything. Um, obviously bronzer and everything like that. I did not put highlight it on just because I wanted to see how it would look with it being everything being pretty matte. Um, the concealer I used was also matte. So I just wanted to see how it would look and how it would go with all of the other makeup that I have. All right, so this is as far as I can zoom. I hope you guys can kind of see, like even up here, it's like so dry that it's like cracking. Like if you guys can see, like all up here, um, over down here on my lip here, but everything over here seems to be looking pretty good. Um, once you can get to like the areas that like when I talk and like move and stuff, you can see it is like getting through all of the little cracks um, because it's so dry. But like up here in my forehead is looking fine. Um, so I would say if you, as I said before, if you are a dry person, um, I would probably stay away. But I guess it depends on how dry your face is. Alright guys, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know down below if you guys would like videos kind of like this. As you guys know, as I said a billion times, I have really, really dry skin. So for me, this foundation doesn't work very well for me, but I'm sure people that have oily skins, this would probably be really good for you guys. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this foundation from Too Faced and let me know if you've tried it and if you like it and what type of skin do you guys have. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, so definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put the bell up there as well. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys so, so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.